Would you would you take this pill? No, absolutely not. I mean, I I I just think it's not going to stop you getting hit by a bus, is no. it? So the rest of it is kind of in your power, I think. You know, healthy eating, exercise, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just yeah. another excuse for people to go. Oh, I don't have to do all of those things. I can just take a pill. I yeah. love the whole idea of it. It may prolong your life by 10 years, but what if your life's really miserable? It doesn't make it happier. <laughs> it just got longer. Well, what if you turn into a vegetable? You might be alive, but you might not, eat, not even know. <laughs> that was cheery. Thanks for that, Janet. <laughs> well, I'm never, ever going to take an anti-aging pill. It's a complete waste of time. I mean, if you eat healthy food and you're positive, which actually I am, I know it doesn't seem like that, <laughs> but I am positive, <laughs> and you get out and about, I think, you know, this pill's a complete waste of money. I mean, do you, know, do you know what? I've got a confession to make. You know how in the meeting I said, no, absolutely not, because I don't know what's in it. And I, don't, I was just standing out the back there before we came in and I heard the voice, I was like, what? What am I doing? Of course I'm going to take the pill. Really? <laughs> Where can I get it? But you're and Mrs. Holistic and Mrs. No, I know, but that's just me trying to be that, but actually the real me wants the pill and wants loads of them, wants them now. Oh, I love that, Nadia. <laughs> I really do. Join the rest of us. <laughs> Stop with all the nonsense. No. No, no, never, no. I was going to say, alfalfa sprouts, avocado, plenty no. of exercise, oh, I'm my love. tomatoes to fight cancer, my avocado to keep the skin... Okay. Well, the, the basis of this drug is a is an anti uh, an anti cancer drug. It's a uh, it's been been used in uh, in uh, helping people who Skin have cancer, got cancer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, but they, they do found say it as a side effect. thing in chemo because a lot of people heard that, that have before. chemotherapy, their skin kind of you know really tightens up. Yeah, and they always say that if they could harness whatever it is that in, in, in yeah. chemotherapy, oh, it would but be an amazing. This idea of looking younger is so sick. It's like yeah. demonising people who are old. Yeah. I mean, in some societies, the older and the more wrinklier you get, like in Japan, you're seen as a living treasure, but in England, you're seen as something to be locked away. <laughs> <laughs> The rubbish dump. Do you do anything at all in terms of... No, I've got of... fantastic skin, all right. I don't smile a lot. That's probably one of the reasons I've got too many lines. <laughs> but in terms you know, of... Do you no, look I after do a load of exercise. And so much of it is genetics. I mean, we're going to see Nanny Thelma this weekend to take her out for lunch for her 92nd birthday. And, my dear, I've had nothing but marmalade sandwiches and crisps all my life, and that's all <laughs> she'll have. She'll probably have marmalade sandwiches in the restaurant. Genetics, definitely, and not too much sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, which we're going to be talking about a little bit or later. Or wild about men. Using <laughs> sand or wild men. <laughs> they're all right. They're not bad for your skin. I'm not sure. No, they put a smile on your face. <laughs> right now... She if... certainly wouldn't look like that otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I feel quietly superior. <laughs>